My name is Adam uh, Root. I play bass in Man on Earth, and I am from Rutland, Vermont. Hey, my name is Steve Brebar. I'm from Connecticut, and I play lead guitar for Man on Earth. My name is Angelo Modica. I play the drums for Man on Earth, and I hail from Borough Number One, Queens. My name is Steve Nathan, I'm from New York, and I sing and play guitar in Man on Earth. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Michael Ferrari Fontana, and welcome to Rockupy. Tonight's musical guest just came off of a 57-city national tour a couple of months ago, their second national tour and their sixth tour overall. They're gearing up to do a local tour now, the group also wanted to give something back to the community as a way of saying thanks to their fans and friends for their support, so they're performing for us here tonight. Of the four members, two are New Englanders, and the other two are right from here in New York City. So let's give them a New York City welcome. Nathan, Stevie, Adam, and Angelo. Ladies and gentlemen, Man on Earth!
got me into music first was Beethoven when I was in kindergarten. I remember hearing that and truly seeing the power of music and how music can touch you because before that it was just, you know, whatever pop music you heard and it, and it didn't have that effect. But that Beethoven came on and we were making stone soup and laminating things and painting things and, it, and I stopped everything and I walked over. And then, you know, from there uh, it, it opened my eyes to a lot of different music and a lot of things, you know, that inspired me over time. Prince became a very big thing and, you know, just a lot of different music and it's all about taking it all in for me. I started playing drums when I was uh, five years old. Um, and I just remember coming home from school, instead of doing homework, I would uh, put on the radio and I, Led Zeppelin, like John Bonham tried to play like him. And then there's always there's a guitar laying around the house and I picked that up and then I got a bass for Christmas, so I played that and there's not a lot of bass players, you know, everybody wants to be a drummer. But, uh, um, so I played bass through high school and drums and then just, I don't know, I, I like playing. My dad was in a band for years, so I grew up around it. On stage singing uh, Billy Joel uh, when I was five years old at the French Club in Bristol, Connecticut. Um, and then um, I had an older brother, so I was into like Run DMC and uh, the Beastie Boys. And uh, then once I got to high school, getting into heavier stuff like Metallica and Megadeth. And then I went to school for classical guitar and studied Brazilian music. So um, I've gone in many different directions as far as style, but. Um, uh, what brings me to music and keeps me there? Um, I have a connection to, to playing, and spend so much. If you spend so much time doing anything, you start to get pretty good at it. So when I felt like I was getting good at it, it just makes you feel good and excited. So I feel like that's where I belong. Travis Barker, when he played uh, for a band called the Aquabats, I would uh, I'd, I'd hear it and I'd be like, wow, I really love the sound and I want to do it. And, and I'd beat my mom's couch up and that's how I learned to play. And also Michael Jackson was a big influence for me. up again I need to get this off my chest only death could stop us now we'll pretend it's all right it's all right when you turn out the lights the past winds through your mind time could never wait for you regrets are only what we what we so forget it all just walk out the door I know I would say advice, you know, it's a weird thing to, to give advice um, to up and coming bands and other bands when you, you know, we constantly look at ourselves as, as new and up and coming and, and working and that's something that drives us I think is keeping that feeling that, that, that it is new and it's fresh and we're always learning something. Um, but the advice that I would probably, you know, say is most important is to listen to 
everything you possibly can. Um, and those people that are your idols or the ones that you aspire to be and the ones that influence you the most, um, I think the most important thing is to go back and find what inspired them and who inspired them and listen to those people um, and then even take it further back. I think that's how you will truly learn you know, where it's coming from and how to hone your craft. And I think you know, more than anything, it's, it's about not chasing trends um, and, and, and make sure that it's real and it's from the heart and that you have something to say and, uh, and, and, and follow through and don't give up no matter what, you know? I mean, it's not easy and, it, and you know, every obstacle you can possibly imagine is going to come your way constantly, and, uh, but you just, you just got to plow through. So we've been together for a couple of years now. Um, we met mostly through Craigslist, I think, and then uh, and also through the producer we had worked with a couple albums ago, Cooper Anderson, who had grown up with Adam, our bass player. So they grew up together, and he brought him in and uh, fit into the band. So I mean, you know, like a lot of bands in New York, in the area, you know, through Craigslist and through friends and, and people like that. So. You guys still believe in music? Oh! I can't hear you. Um, so we 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 got a bus. Um, we converted it into uh, into a tour bus. I mean, it was an old uh, senior citizen transport bus. Yeah, and so we've we've kind of converted it into a clubhouse. We got a lot of plywood in there, and uh, we made bunks, and uh, it's pretty cool.
So we are yeah, in the desert in New Mexico filming a video for bombs around me today. No cops yet. No cops yet, and we're lighting up the last of the fireworks. Ha 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 ha. How'd it go? Ah, it was fun. Good, awesome. good, good. See you guys. <laughs> the moment. 
moment you were told If you want something bad enough You've got to make it yours Oh, why does it feel we're not moving? Oh, why yeah, these days So, about the last three years We've been touring the country back and forth Back and forth, um and it, it's, it's been amazing going out there and meeting all the people that we've known online or who have found us and, and, uh, and hanging with those people. That's, that's been amazing. Um, and so I guess, you know, seven out of the last 12 months we've been on the road. So we're home right now. We're doing a lot of uh, kind of like building on the back end stuff uh, that's sort of the focus. And uh, we should be out soon. You know, hopefully in the new year we'll have something to announce and we'll be back out there touring. But uh, on December 5th, we're going to be in New York at Santos Party House. Um, and I think, you know, being away so much and touring as much as we have been, we've sort of neglected our hometown of New York City. So we want to, while we're home, do this. We want to put a little bit of love into it and really, you know, get out there and play as much as possible here while we can because we've just been away so much. So come hang with us. We'd love to see you guys at a show. Oh, why does it feel when not moving? Oh, why? Hello again, everybody. Let's give a warm thank you to Stephen Nathan, Stevie Gregoire, Adam Root, and Angelo Modica for being here tonight and occupying our space. If you'd like more information on our guest, contact us here at the studio. Thanks again to Man on Earth for being here tonight and giving back to their community. Uh, well, we're going to leave you with their last song of the evening. Until the next Rock You Pie, I'm Michael Ferrari Fontana, and this is Man on Earth! <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, buddy? Hey, you guys on your way? Yeah, we're we're probably like 10 minutes late, so uh, we'll see you guys in a little while. Peace. All right, cool. All right, later. Cool.
you guys so much. We're man on earth. It's good to be back in New York City. Come hang out with us on December 5th at Santos Party House. Thank you guys so much. Tables have turned black